Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. It's vlog ember still, vlog ember 15, I believe. Yeah, these are actually now getting recorded in November, so the videos are slowly creeping up on me, which I knew they would, hence why I did a backlog. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I am going to read some comments, uh, not in this video, but in a future vlog ember, because I have been laughing hysterically at being called out for saying certain things and just some of the comments I've been getting they're amazing so keep them coming guys loving your work <laughs> anyway if you enjoyed today's video consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already why not I have to be really careful now because I've got it on the stand it hasn't got the dramatic effect it normally has has it maybe I should rethink that Anyway, hit the bell for notifications and um, yeah, it's free subscribing. So subscribe, subscribe away. Um, tell your friends, share the videos, like the videos, do everything you can. It all helps me and I love you all for doing it. So thank you. <laughs> I am going to do a giveaway soon. I'm already in the midst of planning the giveaway. I think it's going to be in December and... Let me know in the comments what sort of things you would like to see in the giveaway and how you would like me to go about doing it. Would you prefer me to do lives? Would you prefer me to do videos like this? What sort of prizes would you like? Let me know. Um, I'm interested to know what you, my viewers, want so I can give a little back because you're all so amazing. And I've been speaking to a lot of you on Instagram and Facebook. So keep those messages coming. I love interacting with you more. That's what I do those things for. So come on over and say hi. And if you need any help, don't be afraid to ask. If I have the time, I will help you. That is what I'm here for. I'm not going to ignore you. I'm not going to, you know, not help. I want to help. That is what my channel is about. So come on over, come on over and ask. I don't know everything and I'll be very honest if I don't know, but I can usually point you in the right direction. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's get into today's video. Right, so we're back from our jollies in Amsterdam. It was amazing. We had such a good time. If you want to have a sneak peek of what we got up to, um, I did put a few bits on my Instagram. So go on over and have a look. <sighs> I've got so many parcels to do. I don't know whether I'm coming or going, but I'm so grateful. We actually put our shops on holiday mode and turned them back on on the Thursday when we we're still in Amsterdam. Um, just for the simple fact that we had two day dispatch and everything and we thought well, we may as well turn it back on now and then hopefully get more sales in before we come home, which we did. Um, I still got quite a few while I was on holiday mode, whereas Rob's shop went completely dead. The only thing I can think of why this happened is because Rob mainly deals in men's clothing and shoes. And as I pointed out to him, I think when you deal in just clothing and shoes, as I did before I started doing all this sort of stuff, um, people want that straight away and they don't want to see that it's going to take however long to get to them. So with the stuff that I sell, it can be Christmas presents, it can be presents for birthdays. People tend to buy things in advance and they don't mind too much if it's going to take a while. Although I have had a couple of concerned customers asking me if I'd posted things yet. Um, so I had to like gently remind them that I was on holiday mode. They would have got that popped up when they ordered and I would be posting Monday. And some of this doesn't need to go till Tuesday, but I am going to do as much as I can on Monday. Anyway, I'm going to stop going on now and let you know how much I got for everything. So this Robbie doll, this is a Smurby Del Della... Smurby Robbie doll um, from 2004 by Pico. It's in its original outfit. I got this from a car boot not that long ago and I think I paid £3 for him. He's gone for £25. So after fees, what I paid and postage, I'll have made about £14. Not bad at all. Um, I'm going in order of what I've got things on my iPad, guys, so bear with. This lovely Santa, um, he was in a bundle of Christmas stuff. Hang on a minute. There we go. Um, sorry, I lost my page then. He was in a bundle of Christmas stuff I bought that not that long ago from a charity shop. And I got £20 for him on an offer. 
Um, so after fees, what I paid, I've made about 12 on him. So very happy with that. These little, I can't say this where, is it Swarosh? Oh, the crystal, you know. S-W-A-R-O-V-S-K-I crystal. I cannot pronounce it. I'm terrible. Anyway, these are in a bundle of stuff that I bought off a subscriber a while ago now. And they've gone for £10 all in. So after fees, what I paid and everything, I've made about five on these. Not bad at all. Radley slippers. I bought these not that long ago, again, from a charity shop. Um, I thought I paid up. 450 i think i paid they are brand new never been worn they haven't got the tags on but they are still stuck together with the little plastic toggle and they've got the card inside i inspected them thoroughly they have not been worn um 18 pound all in for those so after fees and what i paid i've made about eight eight pound on them but they've gone very quickly right orange blanket this i didn't buy that long ago at all £25 I've got for this, so uh, after fees, postage and what I paid, I have made 18 on that. Um, this dolly here, now I sold one of these a while ago, but she got broken, got sent back and now I'm selling the parts. This is obviously the non-broken one, I need to make sure she's parceled up really well so she doesn't get broken again. I say again, as in her, her lovely sister got broken. Anyway, £20 for this one. So after fees, what I paid and everything, I've made about 12 Not bad. Um, right, this book. Um, bought a couple of law books from a charity shop about a year ago now. And this went for £12. So after fees and what I paid and everything, I've made about £4 on this. So probably not the best pickup. But this was one of these that was listed for good money when I picked it up. But just didn't sell for good money. I've sold another lovely Burson head. Now look at him, he's gorgeous. Um, £32 I got for him. Can you believe it? Um, so after fees, what I paid. I've already got my money back on the bundles of Burson heads, what I bought. So there's no fee on this. There's no, like, you know, what I paid on this. But fees and postage, I'll have made about £26 just on him. He's wonderful. Little jewellery box there underneath the little crystal um, teddy bears. Um, £11.98 on that. No, no, 97 sorry. £11.97. So after what I paid, fees and everything, I've made about £5 on that. The smaller jewellery boxes are not worth it. Anyway, that's my last one of these smaller ones. So I won't be buying those again. Mother Christmas and Father Christmas, my lovely knitted teddies. I've had these a year. I bought these last Christmas, or just before last Christmas. Last Q4, should I say. Um, they didn't sell them. Um, probably had them too high, to be fair. Um, these have gone for 20. Um, so after fees and what I paid, I've made 15 on those. Dorothy the Dinosaur, she is a talking Wiggles plush from 2006. Picked her up from a yard sale. Paid 50 pence, or was it 20? No, it was 20 pence I paid for her. Um, £28 I got. So after fees, postage and everything, I've made about £21 on her. And Holy Bible, I've sold another Bible, peeps. £15. Um, so after fees, what I paid and everything, I've made about £10 on the Bible. So that's happy days. I've got this lovely super dry jumper. Let me find the label. I have sold more clothing, I just haven't got it out yet. But yeah, super dry jumper, extra small in this lovely grey chunky knit. Very nice. £12.57 I got for that. So after fees, what I paid, I've made about £6 on that. Panasonic cordless phones with answering machine. £20 for those. After what I paid, fees and everything, I've made about £12 on those. And I think this is the last thing here. Paw Patrol, um, I've sold another Paw Patrol bundle, sorry about the sun glazing in over here, £11 I got for those, so after what I paid fees, I've made my money back on these so there's no what I've paid really, um, after fees and postage, I'll have made about six on this little bundle, so not bad at all, it all adds up, I'm going to pass all these up and then I'll be back shortly to show you another bundle. Um, of stuff that I've sold because yeah it's been crazy and I've also got Rob's stuff to show you 
You'll understand why I'm doing this in segments when you just see all of them one after the other. Like <laughs> going away is amazing and getting sales while you're away is amazing. But is amazing, is amazing. But when you get back, you've got all the work to do and that's when you just want to cry. <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, I can't wait for my parcel picture. It's going to be immense. Right, so here is the next lot of stuff that I've sold while I, I've been away in Amsterdam. So, right, let me just scroll on the old iPad. We have this bloodthirsty vampire costume because Halloween is fast approaching. I know by the time this comes out, it will be way past Halloween, but as it stands, we're on the, I think we're on the 22nd of October. So yeah, this has gone 15 pound. So after fees and everything, I've made about nine pounds on that. Not too bad. We have some Bruno, here they are. Bruno Manetti slingback shoes in a size four and a half UK. Um, I will show you a picture of those in a second. They have gone for £18. So after postage, what I paid, fees, I've made about £10 on those. We've got these gorgeous vintage curtains. These are really nice. They're quite long as well. They've got a drop of 52 inches, which is not too bad. Um, they are lined, they're very thick and heavy. They've gone for £35. So after fees, what I paid and everything, I've made about £27 on those. So not bad at all. I have a monsoon dress here. It is um, like a corset dress, um, strapless. And it's got this lovely textured pattern to it. It's layered. It's like a chiffon. Um, really, really nice dress. I've had this for about 84 years. I'm not even joking. It's been a long time. Um, probably about three years in all honesty, size 10, um, that's gone for £10. So after fees and what I paid and postage, I'll have made about four quid on that. <laughs> Probably have actually, it's disgraceful. But yeah, had it a long time. I've got a load of flatware here, um, cutlery. Um, some of this needs to come out because some of this is actually in another bundle, but most of this is going. £15, this went on an auction because we're sick to the back teeth of it, to be honest. Um, had to keep moving it around all the time and I was like right let's just get it on an auction and get rid in fact it was Rob that said that so um, they went for £15 one bid that was all I got and um, so after fees and what I paid and everything and postage I'll have made about £8 on that lot but like I say some of it has to come out bottle openers corkscrews and things they are in another lot so I'm going to sort through it all get out what I've sold and Put the rest of it away but there isn't much now i think there's like five things in there that need to be taken out got a cord weird fish dress here um i'm not gonna drag it out because it's just a dress it's a cord midi dress it's got flowers around the um collar and a brooch a flower brooch that went for 18 pound 38 so after fees what i paid and everything i've made about five pound on this now you probably know why I don't do clothing anymore. Um, Nine West Shoes, that is these. I will show you a picture of these after this clip. £15, um, so after fees, what I paid and everything else. Again, I've made about £6 on them. Not too bad. Um, bought these just because they were there. In fact, no, I've made more. I'm lying to you. I've made about £8 on those, so that's not too bad at all. Is that it? Oh, no. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle curtains. Um, I've, they went for £13.57. So after fees, what I paid, postage, I will have made roughly £7 on those. So yeah, not too bad. Got this skirt here as well. This is a kaleidoscope skirt. It's a midi slash maxi, depending on what you know length your legs are. And um, this was given to me by Rob's grandma Wilma. So I want to big a big thank out thank you to her for that. Um, she's given me loads of stuff that I've sold. And um, this went for five pounds on Vinted. So I have made five pounds because there's no fees. Um, I didn't pay anything for it. And yeah, the postage has already been taken off. So all is good. Let me know what you think, guys. <sighs> Gotta pass it all up now. Can somebody come and help me?
Send help. Send help now. Right, so I've got Rob's sales here, part one. Um, so, a pile, this is a bundle of um, T-shirts. £41 we got for these. There we go, look, you can see them all there. £41, so after fees and everything that we got, we paid. Um, we've got about £29 back on those. Scotch and soda jumper there, inches in an XL, olive green. And um, that went for £22. So after fees, what we paid and everything, we made about 15 on that. This is a pair of Diplomat pyjamas. They've gone for £40. So after fees and everything and what we paid, we've made about 30 on those. This, um, yeah, this is a result casual jacket, safety performance, vintage Courage Director's Bitter Brewery jacket. That went for £30. So after what we paid, fees and everything, we've made about 22 on that. We've got a pair of shirts here by Charles Tyewitt um, in a size large. They went for £24.29. So after fees and everything, we got about 18 on those. Over there is a Barber Gilet in red. I mean, you know what that looks like. Um, that went for 45 so after fees and what we paid, we've made about 38 on that. And then we have this Superbike hoodie, Kawasaki Quattro, um, size large racing hoodie. This went for 30 so after fees, what we paid and everything, we've made about 23 on that one. Right, I'll be back in a minute with more. Right, part two. We have sold these gloves here. These are a pair of fishing gloves. You can't see them very well. There we are. And um, they've gone £10.80. So after fees, what we paid and everything, we've made about £6 on those. We then have these lovely Nike trainers. These are Nike Vapormax trainers in a size 9, fly knit red. And um, these have gone to £75. We paid 25 for these. So after fees and what we paid and everything, we've made about 45 on those. So not bad at all. Um, Gantt hoodies, a bundle of two. There's a cream one and a navy blue one. These went for 30 Um, So after fees and everything we paid, we've made about £20 on those. We've got an open season or open 2006 Ralph Lauren jacket. This is a polo golf jacket. And um, this went for 55 after fees and what we paid and everything. We've made about £46 on that. Aqua scoot and jumper, a size extra large quarter zip. This has gone for 25 So after fees and what we paid, we made about 17 on that one. Um, this external share in grey, this has gone for £10.36. So after fees and what we paid, we have made about £4 on that. We have our last pair of Brooks Brothers socks. If you know, you know. I'm not going to go into it, but we, we did buy a massive bundle of socks probably just under a year ago. And this is the last pair to go. £10 for these. Um, so after fees and everything, we have made about £6 on those socks. We've got a bundle here. This buyer bought two items. They bought a Fred Perry um, long sleeve polo for £28.50 and the Cantara share in a size small for £15. So after what we've paid and fees, we have made on the Fred Perry £20 and on the Cantara share £11. So not bad at all. Um, this Versace jumper has gone for £15.20. So after fees and what we paid, we've made about £9 on that. This North Sales Prada American Cut, America's Cut bundle of t-shirts in a size large. They have gone for £44.99. So after fees and what we paid, we've made about 38 on those. We've got a lovely Vivian Westwood shirt here show you the label there it is vivian westwood man and um, that's gone for 45 so after fees and what we paid we have made about 36 pound on that and this sale has just come in this is an adidas hoodie it does have a flaw because one of the toggles is missing the metal bit on the end so that went for 15 pound so after fees and what we paid we have made about nine pounds on that one so yeah very happy now i have to parcel all these up as well 
um i think i'll show you how many parcels we've got to take today in the next clip because it's crazy and i think we're gonna have to do two trips <laughs> well this is a ridiculous amount of parcels i've been doing these over the last two days there are some under there as well i will add i'm gonna count how many there are and i will put it underneath this post but oh my god I will add though, this is what we've sold while we have been in Amsterdam. We went to Amsterdam on Tuesday and this is what we've sold since Tuesday. So it isn't just a weekend, it is a few days, but wow. <laughs> okay, so we've been out today. I didn't take the GoPro again because it was a last minute decision to go out after we'd done all the parcels. And I have to say, I'm sorry about the way the parcel video is done. I completely forgot to film it for YouTube and just filmed it for my Instagram. So that's why it's the other way around. But yeah, I wanted to show you how much we actually took out. 42 parcels. So we had to do two trips. We went out first, came back, got the rest, went out again, and then decided to go to the charity shops. So yeah, what we've got... Sorry about a scratchy noise. <laughs> um what we've got is here and here so i'll go through what rob's bought first clothing wise three pound 15 for this nike dry fit jeep juventus like football top three pound 15 for this one um bvb i don't even know what that means but yeah you'll all be yelling at me um four pound 55 for a cavani heritage collection jacket this is a lovely jacket it's got to be a wool blend it feels like it is um really nice um lining as well then we've got this one three pound 15 for this australia t-shirt i thought i'd read that wrong then australia uh three pound 55 for a fat face large shirt it's like a salmon -y color and £3.55, I'm sure this is a rugby shirt, elephant polo, jewels, oh it's jewels elephant polo, um, looks like a rugby shirt, I don't know if it is, polo shirt, and then we've got this River Island size medium jacket, um, so this is part of everything that we got for £15, so I'll show you everything we got £15 now, and then I'll show you what I bought for myself. So we got these. I have no idea whether these are worth anything. They are a bit scratched and beaten up, some chipping, and um, they're plastic. When we saw them in the window of the charity shop, we thought they were ceramic, but they're not, obviously. But there's a nice bundle of them there, and these were in the £15 what we bought. Sorry about the nails, guys. I'm just picking the nail varnish off at the moment, which is what I do. It's how I roll. Um, we got these as well. I've got a crazy flog, a flog. <laughs> crazy frog <sighs> when will i learn to speak plush um the annoying thing don't know whether that's old or not and i've got this mini mouse with aristocats accessories that are actually sewn on to the um plush this is a disney parks mini that's why i got it don't know whether it's worth anything um rummy cub rummy cub I don't even know whether this has everything in it, but I thought I'll get it because if it has, it can go for good money. It can go for around £20, £21. Pound. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I need to check it all first. I've got another pair of Dr. Keller's. These are in a size 5 this time. Um, don't look like they've hardly been worn. A pair of Ugg boots. Um, they're always in a small size when I find these. Every single time. Let's see what size these are. Uh, yeah, four and a half. I'm sure the same person just keeps buying Uggs and donating them to this charity shop because I buy them every time and they're always a four and a half. Um, they feel lovely, really nice and soft. Um, a pair of flip-flops. I don't know what these are. Havinanas. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Anyway. <laughs> Rob picked these up for me. Um, have no idea what they are. Pair of guest trainers. Um, they're nice. They are very nice. 
Um, I really like the metal work on that, the hardware. Um, a pair of boys' boots. What make are these? Oh, Wrangler. I'm saying it like I don't know what these are because I didn't buy these. Rob picked up the shoes and the men's clothing. So it's kind of like the first time I've looked at these. And then I bought these for myself. Um, I've got this for £4.50. This next, um, what is this? Jumpsuit. Um, I really like the stripes on it. It's really nice. And then I got myself this dress as well, which is a nutmeg one, um, £4.50. Yeah, I always pick my clothes up from the charity shops now. Um, means I can chop and change and then redone it. So love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, that's what we got today. <laughs> there isn't a great... Oh, I've missed something. I've missed this. The most freakiest thing that you'll all tell me off for buying. So it's like a jack-in-a-box. But listen to what it plays. I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted for this because it is... The wind-up thing does work. £2.50 I paid for this and it basically just goes around in the box so it plays somewhere over the rainbow it's got a wooden box looks like it's for a nursery this is made of porcelain with porcelain hands very freaky looking right up my street as you all know that is definitely it anyway we did buy a couple of things for ourselves but I won't go into them because but it's boring, isn't it? Showing you what I bought for me and the house. But I did show you the clothes because I said I aren't buying clothing anymore, but I am buying clothing for myself. <laughs> so, yeah, all is good. But, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm not really sure about these. Rob was like, yeah, get them, get them, get them. I need to do some research and see if he has made a good decision here. If he hasn't, I just won't let him live it down. I will make sure I torture him for ages about making me pick these up <laughs> i work really i am joking i hope you enjoyed that guys i'm sorry my videos have been a little on the lazy side lately i i'm not gonna lie to you there have been some times when i haven't been able to show our sales because we've been away we've had um loads of family stuff going on behind the scenes um, and other things as well, trying to keep on top of business, trying to keep on top of here. We've also opened a new channel, um, when you know, you know. So me and Rob decided, because we both have a real big love for food, that we were going to do our own channel relating to food. So our channel is called Eat With The Englands. It went live on the 3rd of November, which is today. Um, it actually hasn't gone live yet at this point. It goes live at half past seven tonight on the 3rd of November. So when this comes out on the 15th of November, we'll have already probably done, I think it'll be two, maybe three videos will have gone live. I think it'll be two. It's going to be every Friday night at half past seven. We'll put a new video on. And again, we're just starting out on that channel. So it's a whole new learning curve. Me being from doing this where basically I just talk to you, which basically means I'm just literally talking to a camera, to actually having to, you know, converse with another being and trying not to be boring and trying to be entertaining, which I hope it is. Anyway, if you want to go over and have a look, please do. Um, the link to the channel is on my Instagram. I can put it on here too. So if you want me to put the link on the channel, on this channel, let me know and I will stick it in my community page on this channel. And then you can go over and have a look. Um, if you like food, basically that's what it's about. I'm not going to go into it too much, but we're going to be doing recipes, food reviews, all that sort of stuff. And if there's anything that anybody wants us to do on that channel, like with this channel, stick it in the comments and we can have a look at doing those for you as well. So, yeah, support over there would be amazing. Um, I know not all of you will be wanting to do that and that is fine, but I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about what we've been doing. It has been crazy. So, I'm just literally uploading a video now. 
while I'm talking to you. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. As I always say, it really helps me out. I hope you're all enjoying Vlog Ember. I've had some amazing comments about it so far and I want to thank you all for being so kind. Basically saying things like, yay, Julie, every day. I'm like, really? Do you really want to see me every day? Um, we'll see. By this point, you might be all sick of me. The views might be dwindling off and it might be like, nah. But I have been getting more subscribers, so welcome to everyone that's new. Thank you for subscribing and I hope you like the channel. As I always say to everybody all the time in this channel, if there are things you want me to cover, if there are things you want me to go over in more depth, if there's things you don't like seeing, you know, you can let me know in the comments. I can always tell you to sling your hook. <laughs> This channel's for you, so whatever you want me to do, I will try my best to do it. Right, guys, I think I've babbled on enough, so I'm going to leave it there, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Mwah! Ta-ta!